Former Chelsea boss Avram Grant stripped naked in meeting, flash his penis and pestered women for sex. TV Doc claims. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload a new video. Also, like and share your views on the comment section. Former Chelsea boss Avram Grant stripped naked in business meeting and pestered women for sex, as it is claimed. A string of high-profile women has accused Grant, 67 years of age, of exposing himself, forcibly kissing them and demanding intercourse, according to an Israeli TV investigation. One woman who is 43 years younger than Grant told how she froze in terror when she took her hand and placed it on his groin area. After rebuffing his demand for sex, she stayed the night in his flat only to wake the next morning to find he stood before her naked. Another woman who was successful mother said she met him for career advice only for him to take his clothes off, lie on bed and say let's have sex. Grant shot to fame in 2007 when he was made manager by Ch manager of Chelsea by owner Russian billionaire Roman Ibramovich, leading them to the Champions League's final. The revelations on Israel's channel 12 investigative show Exposure come 12 years after the son caught Grant visiting a brothel while he was postmark manager. At the time, Grant, who wore a postmark trash suit for his visit, denied doing anything wrong and said, I got the massage from a rather old woman. I wish they would publish some pictures of her because she was so old. It is obvious she is not a hooker. He has now apologized after TV journalist Ham Edgar investigation exposed what has been dubbed the Grant method of approaching women. Grant said, apologize from the depth of my heart. He had already managed Israel's top two teams, Maccabi Tel Aviv and Maccabi Haifa, and the national team when he shot to worldwide fame after his friend Roman Abramovich appointed him as Chelsea boss in 2007. Some of the women alleged Grant who went on to manage Portsmouth and West Ham after leaving Stamford Bridge sexually harassed them in London. They, they are all high-profile women, journalists or models in Israel, but their identities were concealed for last night's broadcast. One Israeli model said her encounter occurred in London on a March day. He said, let's have sex repeatedly and mention the name of the agent like he was hinting it may harm my career if I won't sleep with him, said the Israeli model. She sobbed as she said, I met him for work because I was told he knows many people and he can help me. He knows very important modeling and sports agents. He went into my room and we had small talk and then out of nowhere he took off his clothes and lay on bed and started talking to me. He said, Let's have sex. Let's have sex. He continued saying that repeatedly and mentioned the name of the agent like he was hinting it may harm my career if I won't sleep with him. I came for work only and was shocked. I feared maybe I will lose the campaign. I said again and again no. I tried to leave but he stood in the door and kept saying come on. There was no physical force but I felt locked in. At one point, I just wanted to get it over and to get away so he could finish and I would be over with it. After it, I wanted to vomit his saliva, his smell and I just wanted to wash it. Then he tried again but that time I said no and he left. I felt awful. I tried to wash myself. It broke me apart. That is then caught my dream. In 2020, a woman who was 43 years younger than Grant went to see him for career advice. She said, 
I was 21 years old and called him. I spoke to him and was charmed. He asked to meet me, to know me so he can find a job. We met in a flat and he told me, you can feel at ease, you can take your clothes off. I thought he was joking but I sat away from him. He asked me to come close to give a hug, then he hugged me very strongly and didn't let go. I felt uneasy, and then he put his hand on my thigh and moved it. And then after seconds he held my neck strongly and turned my face forcibly to kiss me. I shook and said no. I was shocked and asked to go home. I don't understand what happened to me. I could have go out but I was frozen. I felt caged. I felt that I can't stay no. Later, I sat on his bed fully clothed. He asked me to touch him. I refused. At one point, he took my hand and put it on his penis. I went to the room crying and waited for him to fall asleep. In the morning, as I woke up, I saw his penis in front of me. I was shocked and left. A female journalist added, I met him during my work when I was young. He said I can help you a lot even when I was mic'd up and connected to the director. I learned to avoid him and never met him alone. I received dozens of messages to come to London. That is, that is a harassment. I kept saying no and no. He calls day and night. He can call 17 times a day. He asked to meet me and said I will fix you up with the right people. I am well connected, smart. It will be great for your career. I said no, not interested. A former player in the national team said Grant's behavior towards women was common knowledge, but nothing was done about it. Several women said they were denied access to Grant on a professional level after rebuffing his advances. They also said his behavior was an open secret in football. Under former Another female journalist said, I was younger, I was young reporter in my 20s. I was an up and coming reporter just starting to work and looking for a school. One night he asked to meet me up and so we did. He got close, hold me and st strongly and tried to kiss me. I said no and left. That kiss revolted me. In 2020, when Grant was managing Postmouth, the son told her he used his chauffeur driving lasers to visit the Thai Siam massage parlor behind a row of second-hand car dealers on an industrial estate in Horton Heath, Hans. The parlor, which was later shut down, was just 15 minutes drive from Passmore's training ground. Pompey declined to comment but Grant's eccentric wife, Israelite actress, Zofit defended him. She said he worked so hard I think he deserved a massage once a day for two men, not one. The TV journalist Edgar said on Facebook, this was the most disturbing and difficult investigation I have worked on in recent years. He added, the women's testimony all told the same story. A story about a powerful, well-connected coach who can easily launch a career, about how he knows how to use his position with young women who felt grateful to him for his help, but he took advantage of it and harmed them. Edgar said that he and Tanner 12 had come under massive pressure from associates of Grant with threats of legal action and attempt to undermine the women. Grant, whose last job in football management was in 2018 as boss of Northeast United in Indian Super League, issued a statement following the TV investigation. He said, In my life, both in a personal and professional capacity, I have always sought above and beyond any successes or achievements. So, to prioritize staying a human being and to respect every woman or man, whoever they may be. 
I am a people person and a man of friendship and over the years I have maintained relationship with women. In all these relationships, I have tried very hard to treat them with respect and friendship and I never intended to behave unfairly to any in any way harm any women. Anyone who has felt uncomfortable or hurt by me, I regret it and apologize from the bottom of my heart. Tonight, Grant added, to add my statement last night, which I stand by, I want to be clear. I have never and will never force myself on and be physically aggressive towards a woman or to anyone. Any sexual relationship I had with a woman was and has always been consensual. Thank you for joining us. What's your take on this? Do you think there should be legal actions against Grant or do you think just let's hear your views and don't forget to keep the blue flag flying higher all day.